Hello, welcome to 2023 and welcome to my channel. My name is Grace. Twenty twenty three has started, and this is a new chance to try this game of living again. It's another chance to try out whatever plans that we wanted to make. It's yet another chance for us to change our lives, to make new decisions. And this time, what are you going to do and how are you going to do it? I have thought about all these questions in the last few days coming into 2023 and I decided on a strategy. I decided to make myself a plan. And my plan involves, first of all, finding out what I did not like and what I liked from 2022. The things I liked in 2022 I'm definitely going to repeat in 2023 and the things that I did not like I'm going to avoid but I'm going to also use them as motivation to try to plan better for this year. The second part to this strategy is creating pillars or categories so that I can structure this plan. I usually choose four. This time I have God, friends and family, career and business, and love. Those are the four categories that I'm using. Previously, I used a different set of pillars, which were health, wealth, relationships, and happiness. After creating my pillars, I list tasks under each pillar. For example, for God, I have the tasks of going to charge every week. I have another task of praying every day. And the third is reading the Bible regularly. Under family and friends, I have communication which means speaking to at least two family members a week, planning trips and get togethers with family members and friends. Under love, I have celebrating my birthday on a monthly basis, believing in myself, treating or spoiling myself with things like good hygiene, good diet, massage, stretching and working out, meditation, journaling, watching movies and shows, books, good friends, wine and tea. For business and career, I have the task of working in beautiful locations, going out on my days off, starting or expanding my business, saving and investing more. Executing on these tasks helps me to achieve my plans. So I wake up every morning and I ask myself, is there something on my plan that I can do? And I usually do at least one item from each category on a daily basis. Sometimes I do multiple. Sticking to my plan helps me achieve my plan. Since I have my plan written down, I do not have to think about it. If I need something to do, and I don't know exactly what to do, I go to my plan and I do one of the tasks that I need to get done from my plan. I make the tasks on my plan for the year a habit. 
I do them over and over again. When I communicate on a regular basis, it keeps me close to my family. When I work out on a regular basis, it keeps my body in good health. When I do this self-care on a regular basis, it keeps me grounded and happy. So I invite you to write down a plan for this year so that you have some kind of direction towards which you're trying to move your life for this year so that you have objectives that you're trying to meet this year. Make them as personal as you need to and only plan for things that you actually want, things that are important to you. Plans like this have simplified my life. I do the same things over and over again. There are habits now and they have changed my life. I invite you to make plans for 2023 and you can call these your goals. I hope this video was helpful. Have a wonderful 2023. For more videos, please subscribe to this channel. Otherwise, thank you for watching and have a great day.